Yo guys, it's Chris here, back with another video, and today is the fourth episode of Blank vs. Nordschleife, and today we are taking a Formula 1 car. This one is recommended by Shushock TV. Uh, I play a lot of Formula 1 games. I watch a lot of Formula 1, and one thing I know about this game is that they do not understand the grip levels that Formula cars have, and the suspension does not go up and down all the time, which you will see. It's very unrealistic from actual Formula cars, especially like, I mean, I play the Formula 1 game a lot more than I play this game, and I can tell you, it is not correct. But, so we're just gonna have to, uh, we're just gonna have to deal with it. I will put traction control on, uh, because like I said, Forza does not understand the grip levels of this car. Uh, but we have 405 millimeter tires in the rear, uh, 355s in the front, doesn't say that, but I know that. Uh, and 100, 1,110 horsepower, as well as being only 1,605 pounds. Uh, definitely good. So, like I said, we're going to put on traction for this one, just because uh, I said they don't understand the physics. Uh, right now, we have the NASCAR. It is our quickest right now. I think this is going to beat the NASCAR. We'll just have to see, though. It's not, like, they reach 200 miles an hour, but we'll just have to see what it gets uh, in this track. I mean, you just never really know. So, uh, we're gonna take the non-Formula 1 car. Mm. Yeah, I'm not even gonna call this a Formula 1 car, to be honest. Like, I think the Formula E cars act more like Formula cars in this game. So, uh, take this with a grain of salt. Like I said, it's not really a competition like it is, but they're just trying to see funny cars. Uh, so yeah, let's head into this one here. Kind of laps we can get. We're on the soft tires. In Lewis Hamilton's car, by the way. Let's see how the silver arrow goes. We will be in first person. Eight gears, usually. Let's see how many there are in this game. He's already taking it so quickly and we're into the wall. Alright, I gotta take this. We're definitely not taking the bump. Like, I mean, I'm gonna try to not take the curb. But the quickest way in Formula cars are to take the curbs. Look at the suspension. Like, come on now. What is this? That is not how formula cars right with their suspension whatever we're already going extremely quick our 170 through here this is going to be the quickest car uh by a long shot uh the, unless we do like indie cars and stuff not really sure what those are going to get we do have p1s coming up soon as well i'm breaking in there nice and easily we're at the yokohama already only one minute in Oh my, that was quick. Maybe they should race here in real life. It's kind of skinny, which is probably why they don't, but... Oh, I kind of forgot to break there. Look at that, even in Formula Cars, we still cannot make that corner. Eighth gear, base gear possible. Alright, let's... Oh, it's hard to tell when a corner is even coming up. I'm really, really failing here. Heard the other cars, I'm not used to this kind of speed. We're almost at the fan section. We should get there in about three minutes for our 157 right now. Oh my, that is so quick. Keep breaking in, Let's drop it down. Oh no, no. Oh. Something to drop it down a couple gears there. That did not work though. It's hard to believe that these things are only 1.6 liter engines. But it's because the MGK, ERS, uh, and GUH, uh, the combustion engine, the two turbochargers. I know a lot about Formula 1, and it's like <laughs> small little inline 4 engines. That get a thousand horsepower. That's us into the wall. Take the long sweeping corners easily in these cars, that's kind of what they're built for. 
say that. 202 right, or 204, we're not even on the street. I don't think it would hit like more than 210 on the street, to be honest. Not even breaking through there. We want to break for this coming up here. Do it now. Bring it in this here. That will do. See how quick we can take the carousel. Okay, not very quick at all. About 60. Oh, we hit, put the wall there. It's okay. <laughs> Definitely not taking track from that one. Oh, these cars are so quick. Oh my. That was a weird lag. Ah, oh, I cannot take these corners correctly. It's like I'm track standing every single time. There we go. Use the curb correctly that time. Break. Oh my. I'm a freak. Oh my. The downforce fills me nothing in these cars. Hard braking again, hard. Mm. Yeah, that's not how you do it. The reason they don't get grip levels right is because the tires are supposed to be a lot hotter. But as you can see, like, they're supposed to be overheating. Maybe not overheating, but yellow, at least. Alright, let's see what kind of top speed you're gonna hit here. 8th gear is the highest we can go. That's 210. I think they hit like 215 in real life this year. And yeah, there's 215. These aren't even the cars this year, they don't have the halos. But, yeah, 215 we hit. See if we can get at the uh, hill here. I think 216. Alright, 216 it is. And brake. Alright, that can be used as a break too. Oh no, let's not go into the pits. Once again, forgetting what the track is. And we're crossed. Oh boy. This is definitely the fastest. I mean, I wouldn't say this is a clean lap whatsoever. We kind of track extended almost every single corner. Like I said, it's not too much of a competition, no. It is a 539.535. And that puts us in first over the NASCAR, over the uh, uh, Lemo, over the Odyssey. So, we got a couple more cars so far, and then I gotta get some more of your recommendations. Uh, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't mind doing the Indy car. We do have Forza P1 coming up, though. Uh, so that could beat the formula car, not too sure, so yeah, see you guys next time, and peace.